Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo themed run of this week's Master Nightfall, and the theme this week is Triple Sniper, so that is, I'll be using a sniper in each one of the weapon slots. All the fragments and aspects I'm using during this run are shown on screen at the moment. The snipers I'm using is Succession in the primary slot, I'm using Beloved in the energy slot, and Whisper of the Worm in the heavy slot. Because I'm basically going to be relying on special drops on the mark, as you can see, I've got a special finisher. I've got the relevant sniper, uh, scavengers and finders and anti-barrier sniper. The other thing you might notice is I don't have an unstoppable on either. So I've specced my Titan. As you can see, I've got Crest of Alpha as the chest plate. I've specced the Titan to get health back. And I've also went for grenade energy. Because the modifier here is your supercharge is faster, arc and I think arc and stasis supercharge faster, but you take more damage from all sources. It was one of the worst modifiers, and I chose to do my triple sniper run on this. It, this this run was born from uh, back in the day. My 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 chat always talking about the triple bow. So ever since then, it's become a bit of a thing. Triple bow, no triple sniper. If I can hit anything. Uh, so the idea really is I'm going to be using my abilities to the best <laughs> of my ability. I'm going to be using my abilities to do my DPS on the ads. So I'm just going to get my uh, health back there. But as you can see, I was too late to get that barrier. So... I'm using my grenades to do damage just about to all the, 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 the champions and adds. What we're going to do is, once I take out these two barriers, uh, I've took one of them out, once I take the second barrier, I'm then going to kind of try and get in tight with... Uh, see, I'll just get my health, because uh, obviously all week the modifier is... The modifier all week is attrition. So to get your health, your, your health is greatly impaired, but to get it back, you've got to pick up one of these uh, little fonts of light. Now I have got a number of mods on that are going to let me uh, get my my stuff back a little bit quicker. I popped my super on that captain because, well, I could. And what I'm going to do here is this is where the next stream of ads are going to come from. So what I'm going to do is. I clear these last bit of ads here and then boom I'm gonna yeah, basically blind them now what happens is I what I done was I put my my barricade over their spawn coming through the barricade blinds them so you see here I'll start doing art like you'll see them disintegrate because I'm doing art damage which is one of the one of the perks of the the Titan so I'll just put my barricade up. Every time, because I've got Crest on, every time, Crest of Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Lupi, every time I put my barricade down, I'm going to get a percentage of my my super back, uh, health back. Super. So I'll throw my grenade. That'll take out a lot of these enemies. Let's get rid of him. And we want to get rid of the barrier. Now I've got trace evidence on as well, I believe. And that is every time I defeat an enemy who has been affected by one of my arc abilities, I I produce a an ionic trace, which basically gives me my abilities back faster. So in that first room, basically what I done took the, took the two barriers, and then I kind of tried to pigeonhole the enemies in their spawn point. Now you will have noticed, but some people always kind of, even though I put it at the start of the video, they always come back to me and say, "What was that mod you had on?" Just so that you guys know, I chose the Beloved. I went with a complete solar setup because I didn't want to burn all my solar heavy. Now I'll just go and pick these up and a bit of health. I don't want to burn all my heavy breaking shields for wizards. So I went with the Beloved. My Beloved has turnabout on, so every time my Beloved breaks a solar shield, I get an overshield. So, see there, there's a couple of wizards. I'm going to try and take this barrier because... I hate when, when uh, I just want them to turn around so we can finish them. There we go. I hate it when you get a barrier or a heavy duty ad almost 
all the way down and then they get a chance to run away and put their shields back up. I just see that as a complete waste. You now you'll see there if you look at the top at the top of the screen. Uh, I broke that shield and I got an overshield. It doesn't last for very long. Uh, but it's it's better than nothing in, in a pinch, especially when you're trying to break uh, Navota, which is the boss in here, the Navota shield. It might come in handy. Uh, it might come in handy. Uh, so I'm because when I break Navota shield, she's she's she isn't going to be happy. I'll just pick up this. I'll, I want my grenades back as much as possible, as fast as possible, so that I can just throw them out there and they can start attacking the knights and all the rest of it. Yeah, w when I break Navota's shield, she's not she's not going to like it. So if I can get an overshield while I'm doing it, then I'm less susceptible to get easily melted. Uh, because Navota can do that. She will melt you. Right, I'm just going here. There's health. I was just coming out to look for anything. And as you can see, it's... it's well... It's not a great thing because attrition and togetherness just aren't, for me, there's just not great mods or uh, uh, modifiers when you're a solo player. But, I mean, the game should, I, you know, it should not be centered around solo players. You know, it's a challenge that we face and that's, that is it. We've just got to put, you know, everybody's got to deal with it. I don't think many people like togetherness. So... The other thing I've got on is, and I said I've already said it, I've got special ammo finder on, which basically I get uh, for finishing an enemy. But in order to, now I think the way it works is, in order to actually get the special, I need to have enough. See there, I need to have enough super energy because I think it takes like an eighth of your super energy away. I need to have an eighth of super energy. And that, that was my way of negating the RNG of the super, the special drops. I figured if I had special ammo finder on all the, you know, and could, could proc that with a finisher, I would have a constant supply of special. Uh, so, as, you, as you've probably seen, I'm using my grenade more than anything else just for ad clear, right? And we're going to do it here. But this time, you'd have seen when I'd done my main run... Uh, taking out these champions became a bit of a problem. But you see how my grenade is sharing the damage here? As soon as he bends down, I break his shield. I will just get rid of him there. You see how easy that was? The grenade done the damage I needed. To, because if I had shot him, just shot him up there, if you didn't see my previous run. If I had just shot him up there, he would have... Uh, he would he more than likely took a step backwards because he'd been flinched and stepped off like that now if I can wait until he comes up and throw a grenade that, that that affects him or you'll see here it's another little sneaky move if I can get him when he jumps back up and now I'll just switch to my primary you can't have him just stand in there and then try and kill him so this is what I'm gonna do here I've got my thunder crash now, I'll just have to break this champion's shield really quickly. I've already took one of the champions. You see that Ionic Trace? That helps give your abilities back. So what I've done there, so through this whole thing, what I've done is you get waves of ads coming up the, up the ramp as soon as you, as, you know, obviously you've got a champion and some uh, Vandals to take first. Once you take them, you're going to get a whole wave of ads some arc boomer knights you're going to get some arc sword knights thrall acolytes exploders once you've cleared all them you'll know when all the heavy duty ads have gone because the shriekers will open take them out showed you how to take the I explained how i took the barriers then you've got a couple of more but so there's basically in that small space down the bottom there's four barriers i used my thunder crash to take one right out the game straight away and then broke the other shield as soon as i came up and just finished him then, you, then you're around here. We're almost at the boss. The thing about this is the reason why I decided not to go with an unstop is because there's three unstoppables and I can take them all pretty much safely. This is Barrier City. I'll just use my uh, Whisper. 
because I'm dropping heavy ammo like nobody's business and I'm trying to conserve as much of my special as I can. This is Barrier City. We've, we've c come up against, I don't know, 10, maybe 10 so far barriers and haven't seen an unstop. We've still got more barriers to take. There's still th five more to take. And and we still have, we'll have seen one unstoppable at that point. Crazy amount of barriers. And the sniper, I found, most people know this, so pardon me if I'm giving you information you already know, but your kinetic sniper will do more damage than your primary. Goes without saying. Uh, so I, I, I'm, but I'm, I, it's not that I'm not using my uh, beloved to take out the barriers. I'm saving it because, well, I don't, as I've said, that's going to be what I'm going to use to break Novota's shield most of the time, just to give me the overshield so I can maybe do something else. So, there we go. Took her out. Took her shield out. I've got a... And, and with it being arc burn, my grenade's really going to... You can see it's stingy for her. And... I'll go this side and just... Try and put something on. Oh no, back away. I'm just what I'm trying to do here. See how I've I've got knockout active. That uh, that was a really good thunder crash. It's just unfortunate it never broke both of us. You know, never done more damage to both of them. And now I just need to keep this barrier. Just wait till he break his shield again. Now, actually, I got I got the finisher there, but actually, I should have I should have switched. I should have switched to uh, to my heavy just to conserve special, just to break the shields because because I've got anti barrier uh, sniper on. Whisper becomes an anti barrier sniper as well. Now, you will get you'll see here you will get. A, a little line of text very soon, which will say, you know, about what is it? Two more champions have appeared. There's actually four, but there's two in your immediate vicinity. So we just break Novota's shield again. We want her to go. I think I've got to put one more on it, and then it's start. And then uh, two champions. That means, in most cases, almost all the time, what that means is, uh. <laughs> Navota's off. She's not having any of this. She doesn't like it. It's really difficult sometimes to, to hit these wizards when they're doing that. Right, so we get what overshield. And then she's, like most of the, the ads in this game, the minute you hurt them... Oh, Exploder just teleported Brim there. Nice! When, once you hurt them, the... Uh, they run away until they until they're protected. So this is a, a completely unstopped, unstopped. This is so I'm gonna thunder crash, and then I'm I'm kind of waiting here because I want to finish him for the special. So we'll, we'll just wait. I can move away and just put one more maybe shot on him and get him unstoppable, uh, uh, finishable, get the unstoppable finishable. <laughs> and hopefully, as most of the high-end enemies do, uh, as most of the, the, the bigger enemies do, he will always produce, I say always, I don't want to like be like, oh yeah, every single time because I have n no proof of it. But in my experience, nearly every time you kill a high-value target, whether it be a champion or whatever, you'll get an attrition uh, font. So now what I'm going to do is that there's your, the, the second of the champions. And there we broke his, broke his shield. So I'll just get a couple more whisper shots on him. There we go. Now, the next and the last barrier champions, there's two right up the top. But before you get to those, you've got a whole host of... Uh, Arc shielded knights. You'd have seen me throw a grenade up there already, right? With these, with these exploders, there, there's the rest of them. With these exploders, with these uh, revenant uh, thrall, what you can do with them is you can you can bait them and get them to explode. 
I'm just picking up all these plants and then get another one of those and then I'll go up top and throw a grenade back down. And then thunder crash. Bye barriers. The reason I, I, I'm kind of, normally I would keep the thunder crash for the boss, but because we're getting more super back faster because of the, the, the modifier, I decided the grenade's doing good damage to the, the, the wizard. I just wanted to get out of there, out of that little room. So, now it's a game game of almost, it's almost a game of uh, musical chairs. Wherever the voter is, you shouldn't be. Break a shield, throw the grenade, get out of there. The grenade, now she, as you can see the grenade following her, she will run and hide every time. As soon as you break her shield, she's looking for a way out, right? So, again... It starts off quite slow, the boss fight, you get to the boss fight, you take her shield down, she she drops a couple of adds, but as it goes on, the uh, the, the the amount of adds increases. See her there, she's just, it doesn't matter where you go on the map, very few places for, with a sniper where you can go and get clean shots on her the minute you break her shield. So now we'll switch back, we're, as I say, we're trying to conserve our ammo as much as possible. Now, the minute I broke her shield, it was almost instantaneous. She got her shield straight back. It's... Uh, I Again, I'm not going to be too... Com I, I really don't like listening to people that moan tons on videos about Destiny. But I have to say that this season hasn't felt right. It really hasn't. It seems like there's been a lot of kind of iffy stuff. So again, I'm just trying to keep her shield broken. The minute I aim at her, she's off. Break her shield, she's going to really want to be off. But we're just going to Kobe a, a grenade down on her. And we've broke her shield. We know we broke her shield. So that should bring uh, the rest of the ads. And just to be on the safe side, both under crasher. And then we'll get back up. Now, the only time it becomes a little bit like, you know, damn is when there was exploding thrall about. Now, as you can see, we went up and I thought, oh, we'll be cool, and didn't realize the thunder crash had done that much damage. But it had. So now the first cocoon phase, as I call it, has started. There are a couple of cocoon... Uh, co 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 There's a couple of uh, cocoon nests around. <laughs> There's a couple of cocoon phases. The first one brings out these arc shoot these arc shielded knight and knights and you know they all come from up top and there's a whole bunch of ads you can see they're, they're they're all there they're all practically beat that side when that happens as soon as she she kind of does a, like a, a twist or whatever and disappears come back down here uh or, you know you don't have to but you want to stay safe that this is where you'll come right, i've got just about got my grenade so i'll just toss it up here now, that should take out all the ads up there. You see them chaining the, the, the arc. And now I want to go. Then there is another arc knight up here. He's above us. I'll use my shoulder charge. And it blinded him, because that's what your shoulder charge does. And I refilled all my ammunition just about. So I'm going to push back down here. I'm just going to move out of her eye line. And what we're going to do is, every time I get my grenade, this is going to this is kind of a theme Every time I get my grenade, I'll break her shield with the Beloved, and you can see I get that uh, turnabout lasts for an extended period of time. It's not it's not ages, but it's enough. I'll just blind all these ads, and I can just stand here, you know. Hey, guess what subclass I'm on? Guess what character I'm using? <laughs> Eye punch. New f <laughs> the new phone. By Apple. Uh, so I've got my super, so again, we'll break our shield and hopefully stun her. And if we do, then we'll completely miss her with the thunder crash and then GTF. Let's get out of here. I had, a, I had an absolute mare using... Well, not just me personally, but I have had a mare using thunder crash. It's like, it's annoying because I feel like I've aimed it straight at them. And it just kind of either goes through them or goes under the armpit. Ridiculous. 
But uh, I landed it on the platform, which means it would have done damage to us. So again, rinse and repeat, break our shield. I've got, I've got 12 shots, and because, as I've already said, the beloved doesn't do a, a ton of damage. Like, what it does, but it's not as good as your primary. So you can see here, what I'm doing is baiting the exploders, getting the exploders. You know, I'm not, I'm not wasting ammunition on the exploders. I'm just baiting them. And now, I mean, I can, I can just break a shield and maybe, you know, try and do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of damage. She has went to her second immune phase, which means we now have an unstoppable. So right at the start, I'm going to put this up. And I'm just going to throw my grenade. And because we're using the storm grenade on uh, on the Titan, obviously. Uh, the, because of the the Titan's art, uh, artifact. Not artifact. Uh, Jesus, brain's went completely blank. <laughs> like it was anything other than that. The, the Titan's aspect. Because of the Titan's aspect... Storm grenades are just crazy because they create this cloud. You guys know this already. It creates a cloud that goes chasing the ad. And it's it makes it very, very potent. Your biggest job in nightfalls, especially an arc burn nightfall where you deal 25% more damage, is can I get it back? I want to point something out here that, again, I know you guys were aware of this. I'm just pointing it out. That was... An unstopped ogre. And there. An unstopped ogre that I took out with what? Three, four clips of. Uh, you can see there, I'm, I'm, we're getting my crits in. You've got to be careful. And you can. Another thing you can see, Whisper's really good at, at a certain range. And you can see, you, you don't actually have to rush your shots with it. Break a shield. Now I didn't go for the direct hit because hell, I'm <laughs> I'm missing more than I'm hitting with this this thing these days. Now I'm just, as you can see, I'm just trying to get the exploders to to you know I'm running past them, I'm proximity, trying to get them to explode without using any ammunition, and it works if you if you just keep moving past them, you move over the top of them. Oh, break the shield, get the overshield, throw the grenade. You're basically rinsing and repeating that until you see there's more ads coming. And there's ads coming behind us. You have to be careful because these ads don't just come from one direction. So there's another exploder, so we want proximity. It's kind of pro proximity threat. Um, we're, getting, we're getting decent ammo. Just so that people are aware, because I've said this, because like an idiot, I've just listened to stuff that I've seen. I thought, oh, no, that sounds about right. You do drop grenades from it. You do drop with ammo finders. It's not as... Well, it just seems like ammo, you know, sometimes is just iffy anyway. But I've heard people say that you don't drop ammo from abilities. Well, you quite clearly do. Because I've been dropping it from grenades and melees. So, just, just something to think of there. So, again, I mean, it's... it's at the boss, the biggest thing, I suppose we'll talk about what the biggest problem is at the boss. Because you can see I'm doing this with a triple sniper with no real ag clear and yeah, it's going okay. The biggest problem, if you know where the ads are going to spawn from, you can, and that's what it is, you can be proactive. You can set them up exactly where you want them. Make sure that you don't do the damage on, on, the, on the boss until you're ready to do what it is you're ready to do, whether it be... I'm not going to do it just yet because I don't have a grenade. I'm not going to do it just yet because I don't have my super. Uh, you, it, the ball is in your court as 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 the saying goes. So we'll break our shield again here and then grenade. I was going to super, but I was already committed to the grenade though. And pretty soon she's going to be ready to go off where she is because I'm going to fire my super. And I think you'll see there, yep, she's despawned. No, I'm in a position. The position I'm in is I do not have a grenade. So I kind of messed up there a little bit. But we're going to make it work. Now, I don't want that knight over there 
thinking he can get away with get away with just standing at the side so I'm going to do exactly what I've been doing before I just I'm just going to you know bait bait them again as I've been saying this this word this proximity word proximity meaning for people that don't know and I'm not trying to treat you as idiots because I'm pretty sure you all know but for my edification, proximity just basically means in the, the same area. I felt really stupid explaining that, guys. I apologise. <laughs> I'd committed to the explanation. The other thing you'll have seen that there is, uh, if you finish an exploder, the way that it works now is you'll throw the exploder back. As you've seen there, they will still explode. They just won't explode when you finish them. Uh... I've nearly got... I can finish this. What I was hoping to do there with that finisher, I remember doing that. Because I've done this run a couple of days ago. I've just been busy with life and, believe it or not, raids. Uh, when I'd done that finisher, I wanted to see if I could throw the exploder down and explode the rest of the ads that were coming up the stairs, but it, it didn't work. So, that's my first wave. You, you'll notice that you, when she goes cocoon, you get a wave of ads. Uh, a, a different wave of ads than what you were getting throughout the throughout the encounter. At the boss, you have two of those. You see, now we're getting a second one. You have two spawns of ads. Uh, and, and you're getting exploders, you're getting thrall, you're getting cursed thrall, you're getting normal, or revenant thrall they're called now, aren't they? Uh, or is it, no, it's just the yellow bars that are revenant. Uh, you're getting revenant thrall, you're getting Cursed Thrall, and you're also getting Arc Shielded Knights. You can see, I will just see if we can bait them like that. And obviously you get, you get, uh, you're also getting your Attrition. I'm just going to see if I can, it's just unfortunate for that knight that he walked up and, and it wasn't his party. I get the finisher and then get, get out of there because Nearly all, and you'll have seen it there for your, you know, very, uh, very obvious there. And, and again, maybe not every time, but as you, as you well, will have seen, the, the, the heavier hit and ads, uh, nearly always give you a, a, an attrition font. So what I'm going to do is, I should have broke our shield with, with Beloved. I'm just going to try and take this knight out. My health back. I've got my shoulder charge. There he is. Bang. Finish. And I get a whole bunch of ammo that I'm probably not going to need. So you can see here, what I'm going to do is just break our shield and get my overshield. And then we're going to try and knock some shots out with a whisper. But the biggest worry of, in this boss battle when you're using weapons like this, when you're not using, you know, what would be the accepted weapons in here as they really put it on you so when you're trying to snipe a wizard see hopefully she doesn't run too far away I should be able to kill her here uh, but yeah this is her dead again overshield and the overshield kill her when you're, when you're dealing damage to Navota she fires at you and, and same with wizards the fire rate is deceptive, so you have to be very careful when you're actually attacking ads, especially wizards, and that's why we kind of try to go after the water as often as possible with the beloved, with the turnabout to get the overshield. And there we have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any suggestions for what you think future uh, themed runs should be, don't don't uh, hesitate to leave it in the in the comments. Uh, take it easy guys, uh, I will be getting my runs out a little bit a little bit sharpish next week with, with it being Exodus Crash, so I hope you enjoy them. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.